The city sleeps, but our hearts beat fast. In a moment, we know it is meant to last. And it feels like our love, under the echoes of stars, we truly are the most beautiful couple. A romance born amidst the night. And it feels like our love, under the echoes of stars, we truly are the most beautiful couple. Your hand in mine, we dance through the dark, moving to the rhythm that ignites the sparks that night fill the air of life. A timeless scenery In your arms all my fears Starts to fade It feels like love Us three to Malapali I actually enrolled here as an helper For 7th and 8th grade in West High Hmm, I, yeah, I have. I have, yeah, so. Yeah, my advice is, you know, just take it easy. Like, literally just focus on things you gotta focus on. Don't overthink things, like, take the courses that you wanna take, as well as, like, learn. Just, you know, have fun. I don't know, I mean, my favorite, I could say, is I don't know, I'm struggling between Pixar and Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, Pixar, I love Disney and stuff, so. First for the teachers, um, shout out to Mr. Blodgett and Mr. Vaudry, as well as Mr. Castor, who is no longer teaching here at West. And as for the helpers, like shout out to Amanya, shout out to, um, you know, so um, like they're really cool people. Amanya, you're like my top tier helper. You're the man. And also, shout out to my friends, you know, Moroni, Arthur, Nathan. Yeah, just friends. Are you, no, are you from France? Because I fell for you. Yeah, I fell. <laughs> What's up, West High? I'm Jacob Baker, and I've got a message just for you. First off, next week, we have the Sweetheart Stomp on February 23rd. The cost is absolutely free, just make sure you are not on activity hold. What's a stomp though? A stomp is really just an informal dance. You don't need to take a date, you can just go with your friends and have some fun. Dance night away. We've got a DJ, sweet decorations, everything. Be there or be square. At the Commons from 7 to 10. Next up, let's talk about pack attendance. From now on, uh, pack attendance will be counted for spirit points. The grade with the highest percentage of people going to pack will receive spirit points. So make sure to get to pack and win those points for your grade. That's all for today, TV West. Stay classy, West High. You know, they say these things detect guns. Let's test that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I came here to make one thing clear. I'm a Hey America, welcome back to Real News. It's that time of year, folks. A time of love, passion, and boxes of chocolate. That's right, I'm talking about the Super Bowl! <laughs> oh.
On Sunday, Super Bowl fans were faced with a surprise. During halftime, the field was invaded by a surprise guest, our very own founding fathers. According to John Adams, We had been chilling in George's basement playing Madden. But then, upon hearing that the Super Bowl was underway, they left the basement for the first time in nearly 200 years. They snuck through security and went onto the field to play against both teams at once in a classic underdog matchup. By the end of the game, they had scored four score and seven points and promptly won the newfangled Super Bowl. Their motivations are still speculated on, but Alexander Hamilton said that We just thought like that it'd be fun, but we didn't even know we'd go home having won. At first, sports fans were doubtful about the capabilities of the new players, and even Ben Franklin claimed that he didn't really expect to win, to be honest. However, after the match, they were clearly the most dominant football players in America. Thomas Jefferson said, We just played so much Madden that we won. Practice makes perfect. George Washington said nothing, as it appears that drinking nothing but Mountain Dew Code Red for 200 years corroded his brain so much, nowadays he is only able to speak in short grunts. Well, sports fans, there you have it. The Super Bowl story no one but us is brave enough to report on. We'll see you next time on Real News. What's up, Panthers? I'm here today to tell you guys about the 1.7K subscriber special. Here on TV West, once we hit 1.7K, we're going to be having a Hot Wings Challenge hosted by me. Make sure to tell your grandmas and grandpas to subscribe to TV West. What else there is there to say? Hey. Hi, dude. West High. I'm back. Hi. We back. Yes, sir. It's my twin. We twin. What's your different skin color? What's your name? Uh, my name's Kobe. Uh, Mohan. Uh-huh. Wesley. Genie. Lava. Terrence. What holiday is on Monday? Can I have the mic? No. Why not? What holiday is on Monday? Um, it's President's Day. President's Day. President's Day. You got this, bro. President's Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. President's Day. President's Day, I think. President's Day. Okay, okay, okay. Who is the current president of the United States of America? Big Joe. Donald Trump. Big Joe. Joseph Robinette Biden. His middle name Robert? His middle name is Robinette. Joe Biden, I'd have to say. Uh, Joe Biden. Um, also, my name is just Want. Um, the current president is um, Joseph Biden. Kanye? Wait, no. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye's next year. Okay. Who was the first president of the United States of America? My, my boy, George Washington, son of Tun. Okay, okay. Uh, George Washington. I think it's Abraham Lincoln. Hey, yeah. It was George Washington. The George Washington. Me. What's your name? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. George Washington. If you were the president of the United States, what would you do? Cancel West. This school? What'd they do to you? I don't know. Just the people here. Raise taxes. Why would you raise the taxes? (laughs) I would also double poverty. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I'm going to do. I'd probably... um, Thank you, thank you. Um, I'd probably um, double the rent for single mothers, especially if they have more than two children. Anything else? My name is Jaswant. Um, I'd get rid of uh, probably Oklahoma, North Dakota. I'd cut off Florida. And um, then I would probably uh, drop a nuclear bomb on um, Denver. Can I ask why you would do that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, raise gas prices. What? Just for, just for like, 
Yeah. What's the top three presidents of all time? Abe Lincoln. Solid, George solid. Washington. Teddy Roosevelt. Why do you choose those three? They're him. Like, what can you say? Yeah. Obama. George Washington. Okay. Abraham Lincoln. Why would you put George Washington with Abraham Lincoln and Obama? Uh, George Washington is like the GOAT. Kanye. Joe Biden. And uh, Trump. No Obama? Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt, and then FDR, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Um, Ronald Reagan, um, oh, Nixon, um, and Bush. No Trump? Oh, yeah. Uh, he can, he's an honorary mention, yeah. Are there West High? Uh, I got a haircut. I hope you enjoyed the episode. See you next week. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>